Hello and welcome back. No pressure, but it's a new year. New Year's means stop sucking at Isaac. I did do a couple of runs that I didn't tell you about. This is a really good start. Uh, because they were so bad that by the time I'd finished them I was like, there's nothing worth showing there. But I have just done a Samson run on my own. Uh, a bit lost here. Oh. Wherein I made it as far as Hush on pretty shit damage. So I think I've got some of my mojo back. I'm not entirely over the slump, but uh, at least I have stopped making those appalling mistakes which cause me to take damage on simple rooms like that, for example. So it looks like we're doing an Eden run. Uh, that may not have been obvious, because obviously most people who watch this won't know the ins and outs of Isaac. Eden run means that you start with two random items and random stats, within a range, I believe. Otherwise you'd end up with you know, absolutely amazing damage. But it looks like all our stats that we started with are reasonably middling. Uh, we've got a decent amount of damage, our shot speed is not low, and our shot rate is not low. So everyone who's doing this daily is starting off with a similar boon, a similar benefit. I'm tempted to... Ah, uh, now you know what? I'm going to take this and re-roll the ones in here. Oh, uh, rewards? No, I thought that was a d12. Okay, d12 does rocks. That one I don't want. Uh, we started with Guppy's Hairball, which swings around us. If that hits enemies, it does damage, but... You know, to what end? It's dangerous. It puts us in harm's way, and... Ah, oh, that was bad. I thought he was above us. I thought I was out of the way, basically. I wasn't. Turns out. Uh, we start with Guppy's Hairball and the Book of Revelations. The Book of Revelations will give you a spirit heart every time you use it. It will also make it more likely that you fight these particular bosses. Which is already a way that... <laughs> different runs can diverge, if people decide to put down the Book of Revelations, they're much less likely to get these balls of bandages, and you will always get the same orbital from every boss that can drop one, which is famine, war, death, and pestilence, not in that order. Meaning that there is a strong possibility, or at least there is enough of a possibility that I'm happy about it, that we can get to... Uh, Bandage Girl, 4th level Bandage Girl, who is a very powerful ally, especially if we can get BFFs, uh, and is therefore worth fighting for. Now, you may wonder quite what I was doing just now with all that hair-raising dodging. Well, I was I was being entertainingly foolish. Now, with, with bandages orbiting you, which is how bandages work, um, I feel like you can take more risks with your positioning because there's a good chance that things like spiders, flies, and these dips will just destroy themselves against your bandage. This is doing really well on spirit hearts, which I expect everybody else to be doing. Uh, so, I expect to get myself a deal with the devil on this floor. The deal with the devil, hopefully, will contain help. We should take this first. If it's, it really depends on what's in here, which is kind of what I was anticipating. That there were two items at one heart each is basically the best situation here. Um, if we'd taken one of these items, I do want them both. If we'd taken one of them, the other one would have cost us three spirit hearts, which I didn't want to do. So I took the gamble of taking the HP first, and it paid off. So this makes us pretty strong. The uh, sh I think we get a shot speed down, but a tears up from. Uh, the blue cap there, but we did get an HP upgrade from it, which we immediately spent on Incubus, which is now flying around doing our bidding. I'm going to use the stars card to get into this room, uh, which <laughs> really wasn't worth it. Uh, this could be good. I'm going to take Bloody Lust rather than re-rolling it. That's another one of those situations. What does everybody else do? Oh, and a cursed a sacrifice room. Uh, we're going to Sheol anyway. Uh, there could be a secret room down here, so I'm going to try this. We're going to Sheol anyway. Which means we can only get one more floor um, out of doing the self-sacrifice room. And we will be very poorly off having done so if it doesn't give us a lot of spirit hearts. Ooh. Now there's one of those dodges you just can't predict. I didn't know it was going to shoot me in that direction. That's okay. Some damage is not avoidable. And I think I've avoided all the avoidable damage so far. There's uh, Incubus just deleting everything on its path. Now the self-sacrifice room there, 
has been buffed recently. Anybody who's been watching Northern Lion will know that if you hurt yourself enough on it, eventually you get teleported to the dark room, which is the one after the shell fight. So it's basically the floor after where we're going anyway. Uh, I'm doing this whole floor, I probably shouldn't be. I mean, you get points for the rooms, but... Anyway. That means that we can only do one more floor than everybody else than we would normally do if we get a sacrifice room on Shiol. This is pretty nice. And it will give us a charge. Oh, this is perfect timing. So I'm kind of glad I did this now. That will give us a charge here, which will also give us two more charges. One. Two. So we're essentially at full HP now. So we could do the sacrifice room, but as noted, that's only really useful if you're anticipating only going as far as, oh, it's still open, uh, maybe mom or mom's heart, because then you can get one more floor, likely get one more floor that everyone else is doing. But if you're not actually doing another floor, but rather a different floor, it's not worth doing it. Ooh, really good. Wow, this has turned out to be a really amazing run. I suspect many people will have gambled on not taking that HP upgrade before the deal with the devil. However, the deal with the devil was still open when we went out of it, so... Uh, chariot could be good. We should Emperor... No, we'll Emperor at a later point, when we want to go quickly. We're not too far behind at the moment. Uh, I'm anticipating that some people may have not been able to get both things from the deal with the devil, but there's really not been much... Oh, we can't reach that. Not been much to set us apart from the crowd. Except for taking damage, which that was stupid of. And there's all those monies over there as well that I'd like, but I can't have them, so whatever. Uh, I can't reach that. I'm not going to waste a bomb on it, because if it... even blessing. Okay. If it pays out with... Uh, one bomb for three bombs? Okie dokie. If the stone chest pays out with an item, I won't be able to reach it. We do have five bombs, so we can find out. But I'd rather be able to fly, basically. Which isn't looking too unlikely. We should go in here to see what there is. There's a three cent spirit heart. I don't actually want anything from here, which is abnormal. But, okay. Saves us our money, and we don't have to spend the points on taking items that we don't care for, or we should just go. Get some time. Don't want to spend the points. The spending of the money costs us points. As does the picking up of the item. So... Yeah, probably worth not taking anything from that shop. I didn't take my Emperor card with me. 99 bombs and a Chariot card to get us through this room if we don't like this room. I think I will fight it because we do get... Wow. I was going to say we get points, but we get points anyway. We get points for beating it. The reason I'm fighting it is that all our tiers are dropping coins. I wonder how many people would have gone for that room that gave us the head of the keeper though. I'm hoping that sets us apart, but I can't see any way of really gaining a, a, a huge benefit on the only thing that really counts on a daily, which is points. Except to take less damage than everybody else and go faster. So uh, I will not go back for that because it's one coin. I think the speed of doing more rooms will be worth more than that one coin. Let's try this. Puberty. Okay, okay. I should check back in the video to see whether taking a pill gives you points, especially if it's uh, an unknown pill. What do I think about that golden chest? Again, if we could learn to fly, that would be splendid. Um, I'm probably going to be looking for curse rooms to try and get uh, guppy items. There's a spirit heart we don't even need. This is amazing. This is a strong run. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to pretend that any of what I'm doing right here now is Isaac-based skill. I have improved in my dodging today, and I'm getting a little bit croaky, I noticed. <coughs> Excusez-moi. Um, but the game has really given us a good run right now. Now, here's a question, though. Eden's Blessing, which I didn't really talk about when we picked it up, has the interesting property of actually working on the next run we do. So I'm thinking, maybe I should wait until tomorrow's daily before I play another game. Because I'm going to assume it's literally any run that I do. 
Even on the other save file. Tech 2 is good. I do like Tech 2. At this stage of the game, anyway. This is probably the latest of the stages of the game. I'd be happy to take it. But it means we can tailor our future around it. Of course it's greed. And I didn't get hit by greed, which is a first. Um, if we wait until tomorrow... Before... If I wait until tomorrow, before I play Isaac at all, I stand a good chance of getting a strong benefit from Eden's Blessing by being one of the few people who didn't... Well, possibly few, possibly many people, who didn't play Isaac, and therefore starts tomorrow's daily with one more item. Random item, and it could be shit, so it could actually turn around to troll us quite considerably. Careful. Ooh. But... Could also turn out to be super duper amazeballs. That was very close. Be careful. I don't like pestilence in these small rooms because it's not a huge amount of space. It can really pen you in. Uh, we're so fast. This is caves two. Uh, I think I'm going to go and do these extra couple of rooms with the extra couple of points. We haven't needed to use our book of revelations for a long time, which is kind of a shame because it means that I've got a space or item that I'm not doing anything with. But on the other hand, it means that I haven't taken any damage for a very long time, which it's morale boosting. I think that's what I've needed. I've really, really needed a morale boost in this game because if you get a, a spate of terrible runs, which I had been doing, I've really been having some shit runs recently. Uh, range down is okay because we have tech 2 and infested is fine. Some runs that just give me absolutely nothing worth talking about. Um... Well, I might as well use. <laughs> I thought I was. Uh, I thought I'd avoided it, but I hadn't. So I've had some such shit runs. Runs that just give you no damage ups, no speed, no momentum, no anything. It just feels like a bit of a chore. Uh, and they can be demoralising. Hence, morale boost. Uh, I'm considering maybe down here is a secret room. What do you think? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, you got me. I'm kind of glad. Because if I'd discovered that I'd spent the HP on getting in and out of the curse room and there was a secret room next to it, that would have been a bit... Well, it wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world, but, you know... Excuse me, you don't want to find that sort of thing. Oh, brilliant. Bomb for three cents. They cost five cents, you know. We're doing really well on all consumables except for keys and, of course, walking into spikes, which I somehow didn't see. It's okay. It's okay. Stop being silly. So walking on the spikes, that's step one. Of course, 99 bombs, we shouldn't be not using them, really. Ah, Steven. Well, there's another damage up for us. Let's uh, avoid that. Thank you. Our range down is going to hurt a little bit, because the tech two is a damage downgrade, but I'm not sure if it's for your tears or just for the laser. Nevertheless, the tech laser doesn't do as much damage as your tears, and my tears, of course, are the things that suffer from the da uh, range down. I uh, don't really need that, because we've got this. Might as well do that. Doesn't hurt, at least. Uh, I don't really fancy the way those things all shoot at me when I first enter the room. You have to really decide what you're going to do. Commit to it. Pick something. It's worth looking for super secret room. I don't know where they are. There's not a pattern such as there is for the, the main secret room. We have 99 bombs, so why the hell wouldn't I? Hard pressed. Mm, to to justify not doing it, really. Puberty again. Well, we'll take it. 10,000 points at this stage is a reasonable amount of points, I think. And I'm glad those weren't the blue ones that caused me... that caused those stupid silkworms. Ooh, contract from below. Don't want the pill bottle cap there, uh, which is lucky because I had not really clocked the fact that it had dropped before I had left the room. Uh, the pill bottle cap will cause pills to drop when you get hit sometimes, I think. Some sort of lame, lame effect like that. Pills have not been great for us, not that we've had too many. Uh, but I'm not too much of a fan of pills. Little lava, the poop is moving. Oh, as, you, as, as you wish, as you wish. Yes, so contracting below is going to double our uh, rewards at the end of each room, which is nice. Because rewards give you points when you pick them up. Uh, okay, they exploded. And if we can pick up those... Oh, this is a terrible, terrible item. However, there's a nickel in this room, which is worth more than the item. That item? 
uh, is a very gross visual that causes everything in the room to be feared, which is kind of nice, actually. I mean, fear is not the worst thing in the world. I think it has a three-room charge, so it's not like it's uh, debuffed too badly. Uh, I did take damage, I'm just going to not talk about it. Um, but compared to Book of Revelations, certainly, it's kind of hokum. I'll be honest, this uh, Incubus is really pulling its weight. Whenever there's an enemy that's Whenever there's an enemy that's behind uh, a rock or something like that, an incubus is just flying across it, dealing the damage that my tears can't can't deal. Uh, any enemies like these headless knights, these floating knight thingies that you can't shoot from behind, uh, have to shoot from behind. Incubus is there, just dealing damage. Just beat the shit out of him just now. I thought those fights weren't going to stop. Uh, the magician is not worth very much. We have a fresh charge on our book of revelations that we don't need. Everything's going everything's going well. Everything's coming up roses. However, apart from the damage penalty, which I think I've done okay with, I still don't feel like I'm competing strongly. I know that probably sounds weird considering how well I feel like I'm doing, but I think at this stage I'm going to have to do well for me rather than compared to everybody else. So I'm not going to be upset if our rank is low. That's one at 14 minutes. Probably going to have to go out of here in a minute, but I found the shop, and that's important. Um, but at the same time, uh, I'm, I'm happy with the way I've played. So if our rank is not amazing, then our rank is not amazing. I'm not anticipating it being amazing, just to, because I'm not sure how it can be. We should take the battery here, because I want it. More importantly, I can justify wanting it. Any situation where I'm taking damage... Ooh, I could have walked on a spike there if that had been laid out differently. Any situation where I may be taking damage, such as boss rush, I'm going to want to be replenishing it more often. On the converse side, any time that I'm not really likely to take damage, the 9 volt isn't going to do anything for us. Because all the 9 volt is going to do is assist us in using... The, the Book of Revelations after fewer rooms. So it's going to increase the amount of uses we get out of it. Decrease the amount of time between uses, I suppose, is a better way of saying it. Now we have a third level bandage girl, which is actually a really good item. Because you can just leave her like that. The combination of this and Incubus basically is going to win the game for us, so that's nice. Uh, I think Lump of Coal might synergize with technology these days. Or well, Tech 2. So, boss rush is on, I think. We're way ahead of the curve for that. Hush, therefore, is also on, which may may be actually quite difficult. But again, with the um, the Book of Revelations helping us out, we've got enough HP to get through even a, a, a fight like we had the other day, which I may not have uploaded actually because I think I died on it. Oh, it was the Azazel fight. Uh, I think I uploaded that one. I'll check. Well, I will have uploaded it by the time I have done the check that I just said that I would do. I would not mind a damage upgrade still. You know, we are doing well, but not that well. I would also like the Curse of Darkness to go away, so that both you and I can see what's going on. You and I, name the channel, see how I got that in there? Bit of a bit of self-plug, which is, uh, well, whether you like that is up to you. I won't question your appetites. But, yeah, our damage is, is good, don't get me wrong, it's actually really good, especially with Incubus and... Uh, 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 bandage girl there helping out. But we're progressing through the game and our damage is going to have to progress with us. Uh, which means... Ooh, careful there. I'm going to want to be doing outrageous damage rather than simply okay damage. We're doing, we're doing good damage, not just okay damage. This is Isaac. I want to break the game. And we can't break the game if the game will not be broken. One which is small is actually decent. It means we can get an all stats upgrade and not suffer too much from the uh, fact that our size is one of those stats that gets upgraded. One more? Nope. I will spend the HP to get into here because we're not really doing anything else with our Book of Revelations. And it could give us the Guppy Transformation, and the Guppy Transformation will be uh, outstanding. I should have probably used that afterwards, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. 
So we're, we're knocking through these rooms really quickly, which is gratifying because it, it really shows how good our damage is. There is another coin in there, but I'm, I'm disinclined to go back for it. Look at that. With all our familiars helping out on top of our own tiers. I think boss rush is going to be not only available, but kind of easy. Well, there's x-ray vision to make sure that we don't have to worry about using bombs <laughs> ever again. I think we already got small rock, didn't we? Let's have a look. Yeah, we did. So we don't really need to think about... Uh, well, I was going to say tinted rocks, because we're doing okay on spirit hearts, but then I got hit. But that being said, we're still doing okay on spirit hearts, so whatever. We don't need tinted rocks. We don't need to look in skulls, because we neither want teleport cards nor black hearts. Black hearts would be okay. They will override our, tinted, our, our spirit hearts, and therefore... You know, assist us. So we should get a few maybe. But we're not as desperate for them as we have been when we've been running around the floors going, please game, show mercy. Uh, we've got a minute, so we should just do this. Help. <laughs> right, let's get in here and do some damage. We've got Bandage Girl, don't forget. We've got Incubus, don't forget. They will be clearing out this room nicely and doing so much damage to Mom's pieces uh, that I can't help but feel that this is an amazing situation to be in. Now, I think I want triple shot. And we will just wait. Yes, I do. Doesn't seem to synergize with tech 2, which is interesting, but never mind. What's this? Two of diamonds, we'll just use it. Uh, war is here. Hello, War. Now, our shot speed has gone... Uh, shot fire rate. Our, our tier stat has gone down considerably as a result of... Help. Help. Uh... Uh, of the triple shot. Many people do not like triple shot. I do. Especially with technology. Uh, or tech 2 in this case. Because tech 2 allows us to shoot these piercing shots, which seem to do a considerable amount of damage to the Mask of Infamy there, which is uh, I very much appreciated. It also allows me to shoot completely across the screen. Shoot whilst my tears are not shooting. That was good timing. Uh, and basically, it, it offsets a lot of the problems with tech, with uh, triple shot. I'm just going to let Incubus deal with that. If I can uh, aggro... Nope. Look. <laughs> I'm about to discuss enemies, and then they're dead. So, whatever. We get two charges per uh, per wave on boss rush. Which, now I think about it, kind of defeats the object of having gotten the battery in the first place. The battery, uh, I don't know if you noticed, when I when I use the Book of Revelations, I immediately get a single charge. And that's the battery doing that. It does it for every item, so you can use every item one room more often. I should uh, I should probably take this out. There we go. Man, this Curse of the Darkness... <laughs> curse of the Darkness, which is uh, something we've all had to live with for quite some time. Oh, there we go. I took a full heart of damage there. That must be a champion version. Uh, yeah. Battery just reduces the charge time on every item. Even to the extent that on a, an item that's already one use per room, it recharges during the room, which is really cool. Especially for something like Sammy's head on long waves like this one. So we don't need to worry. We're doing fine. We'll be out of here within another minute, minute and a half. Uh, take stupid damage. That's fine with me. Look, I've not taken much staff damage this time. Uh, who's shooting me now? There's a bloke over here. I don't know if you know that. But he's dead already. It would have been very helpful if um, Bandit's Girl had evacuated at that point, but I can't complain. What am I saying? Everything's perfect. We'll be out of here in plenty of time to get to Hush, and I even think we have a good chance of beating Hush for once. We need to be careful with this thing, because it's compadre will... Brimstone us from across the room. It's really the only danger we have right now is things that are going to brimstone us from across the room. Uh, or explode and <laughs> die before I'd even considered that they will die. We might as well use this every time we lose half a spirit heart. Why not? Do you remember that? Uh, we had a run a while ago in which we got um, Head of the Keeper and Boss for us. We barely made it through. So uh, You can imagine how pleased I am at this stage to be Oh shit, doing so well. There you are. I thought you were dead. 
That's not a very nice thing to say to somebody who's not been not been around, is it? I'll take this, because I don't know what it does. Hooray! Where's my way out? Here we go. So now we can use... Okay, oh, there's a tinted rock there. Not that it matters. I mean, what could we get out of a tinted rock? Another bomb. A key. Brilliant. Uh, an XL floor. That's interesting. I'll use this straight away. The XL floor, I guess, doesn't matter too much on on utero here. Except for the fact that an XL utero is just two floors worth of the difficulty of utero. Uh, but whatever. It's not as bad as if we were really pining after deals with the devil or if we needed to get two angel keys, uh, two angel statues to give us keys and we only had one deal opportunity left. It's, it's fine, we'll get through it more quickly, I think. Uh, I do wish I'd picked up the Emperor card rather than this Chariot card, which is not actually helping us in any respect. Especially since we've got the two of diamonds, so now we've got the maximum benefit we can get from coins. And so Incubus there, just assisting with damage dealing, sort of weakening the enemies. Nope, just beating it completely for me so I don't have to do anything. Uh, well, if there's ever a time to use the chariot card, it's here. See what you get. Something sweet would be sweet. Uh, not sweet. Thanks, though. Still not sure what this lava is doing. I know we've had it basically the entire game. It's the only trinket we've found. Well, I suppose uh, golden chests is the one thing we can get from Tinted Rocks that I hadn't considered. Help. <laughs> Did quite well on that room. Don't know if you noticed. I was there. Were you there too? Yeah, I think we're doing okay. I've got my glasses on. I don't know if that is making the difference right now. I haven't been wearing them for the episodes that I discarded because they were so short-lived and non-entertaining. I mean, if I wasn't having fun, I don't <laughs> see there's much point in putting them up on YouTube. If they're not entertaining to the person playing the game, I can't imagine they're even remotely entertaining to the person watching the game. Unless I get super salty. That can be pretty funny, but... That's the sort of schadenfreude thing going on there. One makes you small. I'm not going to get myself any smaller uh, at this stage because I don't fancy it. There comes a point where you just can't see yourself. That makes it difficult to dodge. We have two black hearts, which will do a considerable amount of damage to anything that d dares to take it away from us. And here comes the fourth level bandage girl already. Uh, death. Obviously one of the, the four horsemen that I mentioned. There is a fifth. Uh, conquest. It's mentioned in the Bible, actually, as well. Uh, now we've got look at the side of that. We didn't get our BFFs, which is a shame. We may yet get it on the hush um, shop. But I wouldn't hold out any hope. Yeah, Conquest is mentioned sort of obliquely as a horseman in the Bible. Uh, people believe, in fact, that it is Jesus himself. Never mind. Whatever the case, we could have fought Conquest just now, and Conquest is what the only horseman that doesn't drop uh, the ball of bandages. Which is very frustrating for anybody trying to get the achievement for getting 4th level bandage girl and keep getting Conquest, even though they have... Book of Revelations, which is, by the way, a very strong item at this stage. Oh, Abel. Game over with one. That's a joke. Suicide King. That's interesting. I don't want it. I'm going to put it down just in case I accidentally use it. Took Sagittarius. It's a speed upgrade. I was feeling a bit sluggish. I'll take this. I'm very tempted to take Red Candle just to, you know, finish things off. Another fucking Suicide King. Okay. Okay, we'll see what this is. We've got plenty of cash. Explosive diarrhea. Get rid of that guy. Cool. Another sack. Some more money in it. Nice. The lovers. Don't care. Use it. Um. Hmm. Capricorn or the. Ex is that Explosivo? I do like Explosivo, but I also like Capricorn. I'm going to take Capricorn. That's a very difficult decision to have made. Now, do I take the red candle? I mean, we don't have to keep it. I think it will really help against the fl flush height. Here's what I'm thinking. The Book of Revelations will help us once in the entire ha fight, right? The red candle will help us every single time it's available. Which is reasonably often. Uh, against Hush... Having that constant damage sort of sitting underneath her. We're getting 
really good payouts from whatever it is I picked up that's giving us those black hearts, which is super appreciated. Um, but having having that red candle flame just sitting on her for the entire fight is going to be extremely helpful indeed. Indeed. I should have probably left that black heart lying around now I think about it, because having a spirit heart replaced by a bly a black blart is not nearly as useful as actually having it back if we lose it. So that was a bit of a misplay, but never mind. See, as soon as I try and use it, I, uh, I, I fuck it up. <laughs> Trying to dodge and use black candle at the same time might not be the best of ideas. But we're not in a rush. There's nothing after the hush fight that we need to go fast for, which is good because the hush fight takes a fucking long time and is really hard. I kind of didn't think I was being hit by that. It looks like the shot height of it is uh, higher than anticipated. We should really be looking at the shadows, not the shots. But, you know, easier said than done, right? I'm guessing that uh, the 9 volt is actually helping us recharge this faster because the red candle recharges itself anyway. The Kano is good. Let's use that. Get some, uh, get some amigos to help out. There's another black heart, so whatever's causing those to drop is still doing it. And we're just going to keep pressing the spacebar every so often, whenever it's uh, available, I suppose. And... Careful. But we're doing, we're doing well if we're already at the continuum stage. Are we ready? Um, are we safe? We are. Now, we're not reaching with our, our normal tiers here, obviously, but... This is one of the reasons why I'm happy to have taken Tech 2. Wow, look at them all! What have I taken that gives me these? Is it a uh, Serpent's Kiss, maybe? I'm just going to stand still. <laughs> there are certain spots on the on the room where you're completely safe. And since we have infinite range from Tech 2... Uh, yeah, Tech 2. I'm not going to tempt fate. I'm just going to accept it. Uh, help. Dance around these. Yep. Still dancing. Oh, I hadn't even considered, but... The, uh... Oh, what was that? Will Bandage Girl please get in there and deal some damage to Hush? Hadn't considered. But Incubus is going to really help against the waves of enemies that this particular baddie produces. I, I wanted to take the damage there. Or I was wanted to risk the damage there. Because I really wanted Bandage Girl to stand on him and deal all that damage. Oh, she de when he disappears. And that was still going. That was... That one was bad damage, that one was on me. I apologise. But I've got all my HP back, so I don't really care. Uh, yeah, Bandit's Girl won't aggro the Hush when the Hush is on the ground. And I'm just going to keep shooting, because I'm a fool and I should be concentrating on dodging. Where do I go? Where really do I go? Just run away. Use the invincibility to get the fuck out of there and wait for it to... Excuse me? Pop up. Pop up. There we go. Bandit's Girl, go. No, bad Bandit's Girl. You're not doing your job, Bandage Girl. Let's see what these can give us. A card, two of diamonds, whatever. I used it. For what it's worth. Well, I didn't use it for what it's worth. It's worth double coins. <laughs> I used it for less than that. Alright, well, we did it. I just gabbed on for about two minutes and we won. So, what else is on this floor? I'm wondering whether I should take this with me. It's possibly a good idea. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to have the... Ah, actually, now I think about it. We had, we did have a lot of drops from what I assume is Serpent's Kiss. So, uh, why not keep hold of the Black Candle? Because I assume we're going to continue to have the drops from what I assume is Serpent's Kiss. Right, this is the last floor. We're beating Satan. So, unless we can find a way of self-sacrificing ourselves on this floor, we're not going to be able to get to the next floor. It is literally, as far as I know, the only way of doing it. Uh, we'll just get out of here. <laughs> Fair enough. Save heart. Save a, a black heart. Doesn't matter. Um, you can't use any of the runes that you would normally use. I'm so glad we got Sack Boy though. I'll blow that up. Probably should have done it before. You see, you still get some points for it, even if it's even if you don't need it. Uh, coin and keys are good. You can't use an Awas rune, for example. You can't use... Um, you can't use the shovel. You can't use any of the things that normally make a hole, because you have to go through the chest uh, in order to get to the next floor. So the only thing you can do... Uh, 
um, is oh excuse me the only thing that you can do is self-sacrifice room and get a teleport that was a good dodge if I do say so my ace there but it nearly wasn't but I still succeeded so whatever I'm keeping it I'm taking it it's mine I'm owning it whoa I'm trying to think of any other ways of doing it so we would, basically we have to search this whole floor so I will search this whole floor see if I don't let's uh, avoid these this, those tinted... Uh, I'm just going to say what I think I need to say rather than what's actually relevant to what's going on. The piercing shots that we got from... Oh, you're not going to stop, are you? Uh, from the hush floor. The Kano is okay. Um, I'm really helping out. There's a lot of enemies right now that are doing annoying things. Like, ganging up on me. Hanged man. Another hangman? Empress. We'll keep the Empress because it can do us that little bit of extra damage at the end of the game. And if we can find a way to get to um, the next floor, I think that bit of extra damage is going to be useful. I really do. Speed up is kind of nice. The Empress. I wonder whether we can get uh, an error room out of the two of spades. Well, let's just go and fight Satan. Main old Satan. Boring old, we've done this before. Satan. Let Bandit Skill do all the difficult work. That's fine. Again, speed up and. I got hit. From Sagittarius. Wow, uh, just chill out. I want him to do a brimstone so that I can know where I'm supposed to be. Or I could just kill him so it doesn't matter. Uh, I like the feet stage of the game, because you just keep moving. As long as you don't get hit by bomb flies, everything is fine. Uh, you can't you can't get hurt by walking into them, you can only get hurt in the stomp. Uh, and Bandit's Girl seems to be nearby enough every single time to aggro the shit out of them. We'll do the extra few rooms, because I really think it's worthwhile. Trying to find a sacrifice room. I don't know if you can find one, but since this is uh, essentially the... Wow, well, careful. The cathedral, but the bad version. I hurt. I really hate these things because I don't know where their spread shots are going to land and they go really fast. Hmm, let's go get us somewhere. Let's see what we win. Uh, anything at all would be tremendous. A fucking bullshit trinket I don't care about. No? Alright. Another one. Cricket's head is brilliant for the fact that I now have maybe two rooms left before I just end this run. Uh, no, leave me alone. I'm going to stop spending my keys on that thing because it's costing us points as well. I'll do this. Just to play with our cricket's head, if nothing else. Uh, which, you know, now I think about it, might not be the, the best thing to say considering cricket is apparently a dead cat. Come on, I just need a sacrifice room. I'm considering that since this is the cathedral, but the other way, that there's a chance of there being a sacrifice room. Or maybe we can use... We can maybe find a... Wheel of force. <sighs> maybe we should have played that. I'm thinking maybe we could find a... Uh, an error room by judicious use of teleport cards. What's in here? Uh, okay. <laughs> it looks like that's it. There's nothing here. So... Unless our... Um, we did have a stars card back there. So unless that contains an error, it doesn't. Ooh, there's more rooms. How did I miss these? Uh, okay, scratch that. There may be a sacrifice room. There's probably not a sacrifice room. Simply based on the idea that this one here yeah, that's not it. This is the end of that road. This is the end of this road. So basically all we got from this was the opportunity to do way more rooms and get way more points for it. Hermit. Nope. Empress. Two of spades. Hell with it then. Let's just win. 33, 38, 250 second. Not bad. I was coming 2,000, 3,000. So we got that out of the way, but... 
I feel like some people would have got the look of the draw in some part of that. Maybe there was a self-sacrifice room that was a better idea. I don't know. Never mind. I think we would have got more points for beating um, the lamb as well. I think there's, a, there's another bonus for beating the lamb. So if we got to the lamb, we'd get another 4,000 points. Anyway, did okay. I think we're back on the back on the horse. So thank you for watching. And I will see you tomorrow for more horse riding. Good day.